Advocates in Los Angeles are sharpening their claws right now over an issue that has animal lovers divided, feral cats. Even going by conservative estimates, there's one feral cat for every four people in LA County, not including pet cats. And I'm not saying there's not a problem. There is a problem. The population problem is out of control. On Wednesday, National Feral Cat Day, cat lovers from organizations like Kitty Bungalow are trying to avoid a catastrophe one that LA Animal Service is trying to solve with a new proposal. The city's policy right now is catch and kill. That is it. Under the new policy, the city will have to follow trap new to return, meaning that they're going to trap feral cats, fix them, and return them to the same area to roam free. While the organizations say this is the most humane solution, not all animal lovers are on board. Science tells us that trap new to release, or we call it trap new to reabandon, actually does not work. It leads to the same numbers of cats or can actually lead to increased number of cats. And that's, of course, not the goal that is marketed to the public. Feral cat advocates say TNR allows cat colonies, or groups of cats with a caretaker but no owner, to die out naturally without producing more kittens. These feeders, they come, they take care of the colony, they keep the water there, so they're totally healthy. They're watched. But the Bird Conservancy contends that cat colonies only contribute to the problem. See, that's what the programs are designed to manage, is, is these feral cat colonies. Uh, feral cat colonies are a terrible idea. Anytime you provide a food source, you are attracting a variety of other, other species and they will feed side by side with these cats. And this is a, a really big concern because we know cats are already the number one carrier of rabies among domestic animals. The last case of rabies was like in the 70s. They're not even sure that it was rabies that came from a cat. They, don't, they really don't carry diseases anyway. They can usually come up with toxoplasmosis, and it's found in cat poo. So please don't eat cat poo. That's what I would say to you. By November, the city council has to decide what to do about its cat problem. Reporting from Los Angeles, Heather Navarro.